plant parasitic nematodes are a big problem in turf grass situations. The best way to diagnose that is to collect a sample and send it to the appropriate laboratory to get them do an analysis on the types of nematodes, the number of nematodes, and also have a look at the root system. And we've got a green here behind us, and we'll do a zigzag pattern across the green, take enough cores to get about 300 grams of soil, which we're going to send to the laboratory. So here we've got our nematode sample, ready to go to the laboratory. Send it as soon as you can, and then you can determine what your management strategy will be. Now when we get the results back from our nematode test, there are a couple of things to look for. First, a good nematode test should have also an analysis of the root system. The health of the roots, the length of the roots, and the function of the roots. And we can see here in this report, we've got quite a good long root system and uh, the root function is good so roots are performing well under the conditions that the turf grass is growing and the second thing is the nematode counts themselves so nematodes will be split up into the species that have been identified in the laboratory and for each species there's a threshold so the threshold number is the number at which the treatment is warranted depending on the health of the root system so we can see here the threshold numbers for a range of ectoparasitic nematodes as well as endoparasitic nematodes and then the counts for this sample. So we've got the numbers and also the numbers represented by a bar graph in the very low range to the very high range. So we've got a couple of nematode species which are creeping up here into the high area, one in the moderate and then one at very low levels. And that's typically what we see, is we see quite a few different nematode species in the samples we look at. Sometimes the population is dominated by one species, but with the parasitic nematodes, quite often it's a range of species. And it's the range of species, their counts, that we need to take into account, as well as the health of the root system in making a decision about whether we implement some kind of control measures. Now the nematode numbers are also shown in this hazard index, which takes into account all the nematodes that are present and the levels at which they occur in the sample. So don't use the nematode counts by themselves to determine control or how effective a treatment has been we must pay attention to the health of the root system. The health of the root system goes hand in hand with the nematode counts when we're making any assessments about whether we should treat or how effective a treatment has been.